Hello and welcome to this video series all about Dorico SE, where I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started using Steinberg's free music notation software. I'm Anthony Hughes, I'm part of the Dorico development team, and I'm here to help you get creative by getting all of those musical ideas out of your head and bringing them to life as beautiful sheet music that you and your friends can perform from. In this series, I'm going to walk you through how to install the software on your computer, and we'll look at the user interface so you know the sorts of things that Dorico SE is capable of. We'll create a project and record some music. We'll look at all the different ways it's possible to capture your ideas. And then we'll take those ideas and arrange them into a complete piece of music really quickly, really easily. We'll use playback to listen to the results as we go. And I'll show you how to print your finished music or export it to a file such as a PDF. Now, everything you see and hear in this series has been produced using Dorico SE. And that includes the title music and all the sounds that we use in the project. But also, everything I cover here also applies to Dorico Elements and Dorico Pro. So hopefully this series will be a great starting out point for whichever version of Dorico you're using. Now, this video is all about installing and activating Dorico, so you're ready to get creative. Let's get started. Now, it's possible that you have already downloaded Dorico SE. Perhaps you've tried running the program, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to start at the very beginning of the process so that we all know that everything is covered. I'm using a Mac, but the process is identical on a Windows computer. Just some of the dialogues and installers will look a little different. We start at the Dorico website, which you can find at steinberg.net. Scroll down a little to find the link to the Dorico SE page where you will find a Get Dorico SE button. In order to use Steinberg products, you need to have a Steinberg ID. If you don't have a Steinberg ID, you can create an account here. If you already use Cubase or other Steinberg software, then enter your credentials and press Next. If you're creating a new Steinberg ID, you will receive an email with a link that brings you to this page in order to download the Steinberg Download Assistant. Once complete, open the file and follow the instructions to install the software. When you run the Steinberg Download Assistant, you'll be prompted to sign in. This happens via your web browser, where you can enter your Steinberg ID, email and password. When you click Next, you'll be shown a prompt, and choosing Allow will take you back to the Steinberg Download Assistant. In the My Product Downloads category, click on the Dorico icon then choose Install All. It's important to install all components, as Dorico needs them to facilitate playback. This process could take some time, as there are a few large files to download. The Steinberg Download Assistant will indicate progress on each individual component, and you should wait until green success indicators are shown next to each item. You can now quit the Steinberg Download Assistant. Launch the Dorico application that you will find in Program Files on Windows or your Applications directory on Mac. You must activate your software before you can start using it. Do this by clicking Sign In, which will take you back to your web browser. As long as you haven't signed out of your Steinberg account from earlier, you can simply click Allow. Otherwise, sign in using your Steinberg ID, email and password as before. The software will now be activated and you can safely quit the Steinberg Activation Manager. Dorico will now open and is ready for use. Now that Dorico SE is installed and activated, we can get started with using the software. Join me in my next video, where I'll give you a tour of Dorico SE and show you what it's capable of. If this has been useful to you, it'd be so kind if you could like this video. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below. And if you subscribe to the Dorico channel and click the little bell, you'll get to hear about all our future videos. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.